So we've now completed our ground prep and we're ready to sow our seeds. And this stage is really important. There are many mixtures to choose from, all of which can be sown in the spring, any time from March to June. But some are actually best sown in the autumn, in September or October. So we'll be choosing a mixture for autumn sowing. And we've selected uh, a mixture which we think will work particularly well here. We wanted something, it's a slight slope, so nothing too tall, full of not just annuals, but we have perennial and biennial species and something very suited to this soil type, which is dry clay soil. This is our tapestry mixture, 29 perennial and annual species. They're ready mixed with a husk, so you don't have to do anything by way of adding sand or sawdust. You're ready to go. Empty the contents into a suitable receptacle. A mixing bowl like this is absolutely fine. Mix this up very thoroughly, so it's and so it's ready mixed, but you will find that the small seeds settle. So now we're going to sow our seeds, and we sow at a rate of approximately seven grams a square metre. What do seven grams look like? Well, you don't need to worry too much about it. A, it's a small handful. Using these stones from earlier, we're just going over the area and marking out at approximate metre square areas so that we can see exactly where we're going to be sowing the seed. Try to distribute this seven grams of seed. It's not a great deal of material, so be careful not to dump it all in one area. And then just gradually work your way across. Best not to do this on a windy day until the area is covered. You can see the husk against the soil, so it helps to be able to see where you're going. So we're now completing the job by treading the seeds into the soil. All you really need to do at this stage, press in. For a larger area, you might use a lawn roller. Treading in does just as well, might take a little bit longer. So we've prepared this area by removing as much of the grass, the thatch and the debris as we can. And you can see in the barrow there just how much has come out of this patch. And it's important to stress it because we're really looking to remove about 50% of the grass so that we expose the soil and we can sow the seeds. The mixture we're using here, it's a pure seed mixture containing native perennials with some added cornfield annuals as well for a little bit of extra colour next year. We're also going to add some yellow rattle seed. Yellow rattle is really a bit of a prerequisite for this type of sowing. It's a hemiparasitic plant that will help control the grasses while the wildflowers get their feet down. Just a small amount actually, we just put a couple of grams in from this pack and then mix all this up. This is pure seed, unlike some of our other mixtures here, we need to add some sharp sand to give us some volume so we can distribute the seeds accurately. Don't worry too much about the ratio, whatever works for you. I'm working in this area, which is about six square meters, on the basis that I want a good handful of sand for each square meter. So I will just add six good handfuls. The seeds are all at the bottom of this bowl, so make sure, always give it a very, very thorough mix to make sure that you've got a good distribution of seed. So here we go, nice big handful scattered over about a square metre. The sand is useful because it helps you to see where you're going. The last step is to tread the seeds into the ground, making sure they're in good contact with the exposed soil. And that's really the job, the job done. Bear in mind, with these native perennial mixtures, you need a bit of patience. It's a grassy bank with wildflowers which will develop over the coming years, but we have added the uh, cornfield annuals, which will give us an immediate display from the beginning of next summer. So we're at the end of a good day's work, job finished, ground prepared, seed sown, very little now to do, other than in the absence of any rain, a little watering in the next few days, if possible. The only other thing to be aware of, any uh, emerging weeds, need to be dealt with as early as possible. We'll then have 
the emerging plants coming in the spring with the first flower in uh, early summer right the way through for three or four months into the autumn.